video number six of the YouTube practice to help you with your tests and everything. And so throughout the videos, we've kind of put three tools more or less in our pocket, and that's uh, finding the square footage of a cylinder, 0.785 times diameter times diameter times height gives you the cubic foot, and then you can convert cubic foot to gallons. You have uh, gallons per minute when you apply it to the square footage of a pipe. We could figure out um, the flow there. And then milligrams per liter, uh, with just the milligrams per liter, we could figure out how many pounds per million gallon. Oh, I wrote it. Pounds per million gallon. And uh, so now, just to add another little tool to the belt, we got this question, and this question will be a little lesson on um, how the, the metric system kind of works, just from my understanding and how I could use it to help me in these questions. So what is the chemical feed in pounds per day from a hypochlorinator if the hypochlorite solution is 2.5% or 25,000 milligrams chlorine per liter during a test run? Per liter, question mark. Pause. <laughs> during a test run, the hypochlorinator delivers 500 milliliters in 17 minutes. So what is the chemical feed in pounds per day? So we have a, the little chlorinator thing again, and it is feeding into the water system, and it is 2.5% chlorine, also known as, aka, 25,000 milligrams per liter of chlorine. So during a test run, the hypochlorinator delivers 500 milliliters in 17 minutes. So it delivered, of this 2.5 solution, it delivered 500 milliliters in 17 minutes. So if it delivered 500 milliliters in 17 minutes, then how many pounds per day? does it deliver from the hypochlorinator? How many uh, pounds per day of the chemical? So not just uh, pounds per day of the whole thing, pounds per day of the chemical, so the, the chlorine that's in every liter. So to explain this problem thoroughly, first I'm gonna go through uh, the fun way I remember the, the metrics. So. First you got the the millis, and then you got the normal thing, which on the weight side is grams, and on the the water side is liters, and then you got the kilos. So on the weight side you got milligrams, on the water side you got milliliters, and on the weight side you got kilograms. And the water side, you got kiloliters. That's a gram. That's a liter. And so, if you know Spanish, you know mil means a thousand. Um, like tres mil, dos mil. Like that's mil means a thousand, right? So that is Latin. That is Latin for a thousand. And then gram is. A French term and kilo is Greek for a thousand so that is the way that I remember that they're all just multiples of a thousand because milli is a thousand less than gram and then gram is just the base one French French make the rules and then the Greek is a thousand more than French so you know, you kind of remember just the hierarchy of these cultures, more or less, Latin and French and Greek. And um, and so the way that works in the number is, so say if there's a million grams or a million milliliters, when you take it, when you, you just take out the thousand, you take out the mil, and you, now it's just grams, and so then you got a thousand grams. And then if you're taking grams a kilogram, you take out the thousand, you take out the kilo, and then it's just one kilogram. And then, fun fact, 
for every kilogram there is a liter so a liter of water is exactly one kilogram and that could help you in tight spots every once in a while because a lot of times in these math problems you need to take water weight to um, you need to take water amount to weight and so since a kilogram is exactly a liter I can help you out Erase this and now work through the problem with this new little thing that we've learned. So, we need pounds per day. We need weight over time. And in 500 milliliters, we have a volume of water per a time. So that's pretty close. And so there's 500 milliliters in 7 minutes, 17 minutes. And we know that there's 25,000 milligrams in every liter. So if we could get this 500 milliliters to a liter, then we know that there's 25,000 milligrams per that time. So we know that 500 milliliters, because of what we just learned, how a milli, anything is a thousand less than the, the base one, the French word. So, so that's the Latin word. That's my wife, and I'm in her classroom. <laughs> uh, then we just, so 500 is half of 1,000. So all we have to do is multiply it by 2 to get this Latin word to the French word that we need. So multiply top and bottom by 2, and you have 1 liter. Because that's 5. So, so that's going to equal 1,000 milliliters, which is a liter because there's a mil of milliliters per every liter. So we took the Latin word to the French there. And then what 17 times two is 34, 34 minutes. And so check this out. We know that there's 25,000 milligrams of chlorine in every liter. And what we need is weight, not water, right? So we could just, we, we know that this is the same as this. So we just, okay. Let's forget about the liter because we need weight. 25,000 milligrams. Okay, now we have weight over time. Now, it's as simple as getting this weight to pounds and this time to days. So let's put it over here and convert our happy faces all the way to pounds per day. 25,000 milligrams for 34 minutes. And we know there's so there's a thousand milligrams for every gram, so that could go to 25 grams for every 34 minutes. And we know there's a thousand grams in every kilogram, so that could go to, this is it multiplied, this is just the process here. And then that could go to 0 0.025 kilograms for every 34 minutes. And we remember now there's 2.205 pounds, 2.205 pounds for every kilogram, and that is multiplication there. So th this and this is just you know the process, and now this is multiplication to convert kilograms to pounds. And when you multiply 0 0.025 times 2.205, you get point zero five five one two five pounds per 34 minutes and there's how many minutes in an hour there's 60 minutes in an hour and there's 24 hours in a day there go the minutes there go the hours let's multiply the top times 60 times 24 that is, coming over here, 79.38 pounds per 34 days. Let's bring it down to a day, divide that by a 34, and you get 2.33470582, let's say 2.335 pounds per day. And that is the tool and a tool belt of knowing how to work that metric system. And as Americans, it's a little weird for us, 
But we. What did they do? Anyway, <laughs> she must have gone to the bathroom. But um, but when you, for for me, it's easier to remember that at first it's Latin with the mil, and then it's French with the gram, and then it's Greek with the kilo. So that helps me. Hopefully, it helps you.